It all started on the night of the London riots. I wasn't really much of a tweeter. Um, I sort of had an account and just followed people. But was following the sort of riots unfolding there, like most other people. One of the things uh, that people were tweeting about was the rumour that the dolphin, where we are now, was uh, burning down. Um, and having moved across the road, I could see that it was fine. So I just tweeted, replying to, there was lots of uh, Dalton and Hackney groups tweeting about it, and I was like, it's fine, I can see it's fine. And people started replying, saying all this like hilarious and filthy stuff, like, oh, thank God for that, it's the only pub I've ever had sex in, or like the only pub I've ever, like all these things. And me and my flatmate found it very uh, amusing. And, um, and I was just thinking, I couldn't believe that the Dolphin didn't have its own Twitter feed in light of how many people on there were sort of had all these great stories. And um, set it up, and then to cut a long story short, um, it got lots of followers very quickly and got lots of nice things said about it by people that I really loved on Twitter like Grace Dent and Caitlin Moran and quite a lot of bands and particularly sort of cool people that live in East London. My background is I'm a writer so I didn't sort of, you know, it, it's not that big a leap and I've always, write, I've always enjoyed writing kind of short, punchy copy I suppose but just never really got into Twitter. Um, and it was only by doing The Dolphin that I really sort of got into it and then really got into kind of trying new things on there. Um, so yeah, I guess now I, my main things are I tweet for people, uh, I write tweets for other people and then, but without getting their accounts, and then also help them come up with kind of creative ways of using Twitter um, to help grow their following. So that's something that work has been work that's involved brands. Could you maybe tell us about some of the brands you've been working with? Yeah, so I guess, uh, the first, one of the first ones was Adidas, who heard me talking about them when I went on a podcast talking about the dolphin. The other big one was The Voice, and I've now started doing The Apprentice. When The Apprentice came along, was it? Did, did you already know by then that this was going to be some kind of new career? So The Voice was a full-time job anyway, so that was the, the first series I was kind of tweeting, but also um, scripting kind of behind-the-scenes stuff for one of the presenters, Reggie 8. And I guess it was just that shift from being something that I, I was writing and tweeting to just being purely tweeting um, was, yeah, probably about a year ago. Now I'm kind of, yeah, almost entirely uh, tweeting professionally. 